dear friends in response to the request of some of the uh, people who watched the previous videos uh, a request came saying can we um, have small chapters um, on each topic and we go slowly so that we can understand that's why i really think it is it's a good suggestion and i have to go with um, that request so that's why we are going to have the topic of high blood pressure in a, a very simple easy way to understand and a little bit uh, slower than taking it too much at the same time so uh, high blood pressure is a problem that we need to really understand it's a problem that is uh, in front of us and uh, it is increasing on a high speed in our communities to understand this you need to be in the hospital and see what is happening or you just go to internet you check over a period of time over 10 20 30 years how it has been and how it is now so this will help a lot to understand uh, the impact the you know the, the 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 responsibility that everyone has so let's go um, slide by slide without rush so that we can understand you know point by point when we talk about blood pressure or high blood pressure in other words high blood pressure is hypertension which is uh, two words in one actually hyper which means um, high high tension pressure tension is pressure hypertension if there was a o here it would be going to be hypo but now this is hyper hypertension is high so now we do hypertension a check using this machine called civic manometer uh, the hypertension or tension machine to check how much blood pressure uh, you have so we use this machine to exactly examine you and know how you are doing so as usual we address five questions but today today specifically today or for this presentation I mean we are going to see only this first question which is the definition what is hypertension so others causes signs and symptoms complications and treatment or prevention will follow in the next presentation to understand the blood pressure the pressure we need to understand the components of blood pressure so if it is high it will be because of a reason it's not just high let's understand uh, from the easiest way of uh, you know to break it down if you have um, if you need water in your house you will need uh, a generator which will push them the water from the source from where the, the the water is coming from so the generator itself will be in the place of the heart in this context Okay, so we are taking this generator as if it is a heart. The heart pumps blood. The generator will pump water for us. Then the, the, the pipes which are connected to that generator. Hmm? Generator is underneath here. Underneath, underneath is pushing water. And this water will go to different pipes. We note that the pipes are different sizes. The big ones, medium ones, and, and smaller ones same way we have vessels we have blood vessels which are big small and medium you see now we have water some of the areas will pour a lot of water other areas will put small water so which means some of the areas need a small amount of blood with small vessels small pipes hmm? the bigger pipes will supply a lot of water we need to remember 
that for this water to arrive at a destination, the pipe needs to be in good condition. The pipe should not be leaking. The pipe should not have any blocking element in the pipe. I hope you understand it very well. So if you are in your kitchen, you are opening, the water is coming, means the water is really passing without problem. So for the water to arrive, it needs to arrive at a good pressure, the medium pressure. Too low, which is too low, the water will not arrive. Too high, too high, some pipe will burst. Same way, the heart, the vessels, and the blood. So if you understand that, hmm, when the water is passing in the big, medium, and small, same way on the vessels, so it will be easy to understand what is hypertension, what is high blood pressure. So the vessel should not have, um, I mean, uh, the, 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 any blockage inside. So the pipe should not have rust, should not have any blocking, any, any, any obstacle for the water to pass through. So if there is anything blocking in the blood vessel, then the blood will not reach the destination. So we said there are medium, there are big ones, there are small ones, same way on the blood vessels. This is what we have. We have our main pipe, which comes from the generator, from the heart. It gives two branches, big, medium, and medium with supply. To the terminal, to the ends, you remember, if the pressure is too high, these small pipes will suffer. Will suffer if the pressure of the generator is too high. We will see other causes, other conditions that can increase the pressure when we check the causes, you know, and uh, predisposing factors. So this is the pipe which is normal, and uh, this is the pipe now which is getting blocked. You know, there. Uh, this is a blockage with the fat, with the cholesterol, uh, with the cholesterol product. And the clot, if it comes from anywhere at a distance, it will come and get stuck here. If it is on the heart, then this pipe will be blocked. The blood will not reach, will not reach the destination. Most of times, we we'll see the cause in the following slide, we will understand. So in other words, if we define the hypertension, okay, as we are summarizing what we are seeing, hypertension is a condition in which the force of the blood against the walls, against the wall of the artery is too high. So there is a, a pressure which is too high. A normal blood pressure should not exceed 140 over 90. That's a blood pressure reference value. If it goes to 180 over 120, it's an emergency situation. We need to intervene as soon as possible because the problem is coming. We call it a severe hypertension. And uh, most of times, many people will get hypertension without knowing. You know, they will just walk and do their activities as normal until suddenly they check or they go to hospital, they check randomly, they find high blood pressure. And they, ah, you have high blood pressure. And this blood pressure, which is too high, if it's not treated, it will cause serious complications. So we need to understand that this generator, our engine, the heart, need to be in good condition, and the pipe need to be in good condition, as well as the, 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 the fluid, the water passing inside, which is blood in our circumstances. So the heart should be normal. These valves, these doors, or the gates, which open and close, in the heart, they should be in a good functioning condition. So the blood will go uh, from the heart, you will pump the blood to the whole body, going to the lungs, going to the upper, upper limbs and the head and the lower limbs. That's the job of this generator. So, and uh, as you can see, the vessels are all over the body, the big one, the medium ones, and small ones. And you are going to see, in short, how the blood pressure has an impact on these vessels and the whole system at large. So we need to remember that uh, there are different values. As we said, we said that blood pressure should not go above 140 over 90. Please follow this uh, 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 
lecture or this uh, presentation. Follow it nicely. We will do evaluation at the end to see if we understood it. So 140, see here, is, this is the, the upper limit and the, the, the lower limit of the lower number because there are two numbers, upper number and the lower number. So this one should not go above 90. This one should not go above 140. So the preferred number, the one we wish to have is 120 over 80 or around there. 110, 100, over 70, 110, around there. But if it becomes now 140 and higher, the problem will be increasing or risks uh, might increase in relation to the increase of this number. So please, uh, if you have your blood pressure, try to make sure that you have these reference values and compare with what you are finding. Remember, this is a, a green zone, and this is still green, light green, yellow, after yellow, you will enter in the red zone. As the number goes higher and higher, we are entering the red zone. That's why here they call it hypertension stage one, stage two, stage three. It's an emergency. You need to make a plan. So this is what uh, we can start on when we do uh, definition and introduction. Then we will see the causes of high blood pressure, the sign symptoms, complication. We end with the treatment. I hope it was clear. Um, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much.